Welcome to the 2019 Developers Q&A video for the world of Sekfenia. I've split this into four parts so we can cover a little about the past, current, the community, the development, and future plans for the world of Sekfenia. In this video, we will deal with part one, past and current code. So let's go ahead and take a trip back to the past, to beta one, which was the first public release on August 3rd, 2009, over 10 years ago. We're gonna take a look at the PAS item market. As you can see from this screenshot, very basic. And over the past 10 years, we've taken the feedback of players, vision that I've had as well, to change it up so that it looks similar to this now. A lot has changed. And it's very interesting as a developer to watch how your project changes over the years. Now let's Go ahead and take some questions about the current code. Where do cups of oats come from? Now cups of oats can be obtained by foraging either out of town or in town. Now if you're traveling, you can use out of town foraging by using travel hours. If you're in town, there are forage attempts that you get every half day. It is not the only item you can get from foraging, so it may take some time to get a couple of oats. Also, if you don't want to do foraging yourself, some players may also put up their cups of oats in the town markets. What is the purpose of a deposit box? Well, deposit boxes hold money that is earned from purchases when you're out of the town in which the transaction occurs. For example, let's say that we put up corn on the markets in Paz. If you're in Paz and it sells, the money comes directly to the inventory of your character. However, if you decide to leave, your item still stays on the market, and when it sells, it goes into a deposit box in Paz. This allows you to be able to come back and pick up your money later. Now, one of the things that's also great about this is that the temple makes a little bit of money every month off of deposit boxes. So if you let that money sit there for a while, they will slowly start taking fees out of it. Now you can pick up those that money out of that box anytime that you desire, up until the point that it hits zero. A temporary deposit box will then be eliminated and you will no longer have a deposit box in that area. If you ever need to see where your deposit boxes are, you can end up going over to Property, My Deposit Boxes, and clicking. This will allow you to see what town you have one in, how much is money is in there, the fee for it, and also allow you to view it directly. Now, premium boxes are something that you can buy from the temple, which give additional benefits. These benefits include the ability to add money to the box for a fee, the ability to add up the four items to the box, and be able to transfer from any box in the diocese to that particular box.
Another question we get is, what is the use of specialty foods? There are a number of different specialty foods in the game. This could include stuff like shepherd's pie, strawberry shortcake, etc., etc. They are added primarily by the request of players, either to get a combination of additional stats in there, or sometimes because it's just something that they would like to have seen. So some of these players love to collect them. Some like to gather them for various quests in the Traveler's Caravan, and some prefer to eat one type of food over another. So we try to balance not adding too many items while also giving players a chance to enjoy items that they want to see added to the game. Now, one of the things that was brought up is should players be able to buy food to go for other players? I think that could be an interesting idea. If you love the idea, bring it up in the suggestion box and let's get some feedback on it. That way we can kind of see what other people think about it. Maybe they got a fun twist for it. You know, I read through the suggestion box quite often. And even though some ideas may sit on the back burner for a while, I'll sometimes go back and take a look at them and maybe make a twist or whatnot and add it to future code. This question was brought up to us. Will we ever see an actual house? We don't have any plans to do any 3D graphical interface. Um, so you're not going to be able to walk into it or anything like that. With this said, I'm not opposed to doing some sort of like 2D rendition. Of course, if you have ideas or want to donate graphics for it, I'm great with that idea. Now, there are a couple ideas that I've thought about to experiment to kind of improve the way houses are, but nothing's yet set in stone. One potential idea was to have each room or area have a designated, maybe like a 10 by 10 box or something like that, where you could put icons of the items that you have in that room and kind of organize the room from that it would kind of be like a from up top looking down into it and then however you organize it would show on the profile of course if you love this idea drop me a line tell me if you have other ideas that you think might improve this feel free to drop them in the suggestion box Now, one of the questions that I get from time to time is, can a deactivated character be reactivated? Uh, as long as the deactivation is something that's from being paused too long, dying off, maybe someone uh, left the game and decided to come back, those character accounts can often be reactivated. I do have backups dating for quite a few years the only thing that I say is when I do restore a character through this method, there could be little quirks that happen because as the game evolves, uh, the character database information changes over time. So I have to do manual tweaking and adding to get the account back in. So it's not going to ever be 100%. You know, I do my best to kind of restore it. Um, as a good customer service feature. Um, we've had a few players do that over time. And of course, if there's a player that's left that wants to come back that wasn't eradicated or anything like that, then I definitely welcome it. And they can contact me directly to be able to do that. It will take time and it is a process, but it is something that I've done. All right, that wraps up our first video. In part two, we're going to look at the community questions that was given to us. Thanks for watching and hope to see you soon.